It would be Eeny Meeny, right? Or Mimi Mini? Who's really driving that night? This makes no sense! Eeny Meeny! Fuck! They give me two. Ah, I'm second guessing myself. She'd have a license. She's sick. She's driving. So why would she be driving? She got off on the right side, and she wasn't able to save her sister at all during that time. So maybe. Uh, I don't know. Would have to be her, but you know there could be a different reason. Hmm. Ah, right door. Like I don't like remember anything else. I haven't seen me. One driving a car. I don't know. I'll go by what the article says, even though what it said was. The answer is the one is the one person who had her driver's license, Mimi Minnie. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But, but you just said the witness, Miss Eeny Meenies, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The next question? Who is the person standing on the witness stand right now? What sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This is the w the witness name. This witness name is. I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness' real name is people. People. It's actually the sister. It's Mimi Minnie. Mimi Minnie. That is your real name. Of of all the foolish dribble, then then how do you explain her experience? When she was admitted into the hospital, the witness was suffering sev uh, severe facial burns. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, they used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery? Why did I give her an accent? This is the picture she gave to, to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. B but M Mimi Minnie, she, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. The, the, the body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Innie Mini. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Mini? Or Mini? I don't know, fuck it. That car accident one year ago. The one who died in that night was Innie Mini. Her sister Mimi then stole her face and was reborn as Eenie. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Mini from existence. That is fucking terrible. Your Honor, I'm sure you can see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. W what do you mean? <clears throat> What's the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash. Mimi Mini. However, that would have not been possible because Mimi Mini was still, in fact, alive. And the fact would have been discovered, and the channeling and the channeling has been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening, at all cost. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Doctor Turner Gray. <laughs> Dr. Turner Gray, is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of cons uh, consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Well, well, Miss Eni, I mean, I mean Miss Von Garba. Why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. W witness?
That's right. I admit it. My real name's Mimi Mini. That quack doctor, he got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But, but why? Why would you go so far to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Minnie wanted to be herself to disappear because of this. What? Disappear because of the accident? Right? Because she was blamed for it, I believe. Take that. Take that! The, that's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Minnie. That's right. The person standing before us today. A few weeks after this mishap... Mimi Minnie had a car accident, in which she she lost her younger sister. The timing could have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in the incident, and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of the accident. Her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. And my headphone fell out. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. A jerk. If only I hadn't thought of the channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo. Becoming any has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult, I hate it. I hate it all! I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here. Why did you set a murderous revenge plot in motion? And why does Miss Morgan Fay agree to help you with the plan? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. This... this is... This is preposterous! I... I'm perfect! Me, Franziska Von Karma. I'm gonna enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's gonna be the broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is... Ow! 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 Combo Breaker! I'm dead. Phoenix! Hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix! It's caught as a frog. A shame. A frog. This caught as a frog! God damn it, ribbit! Alright. Now then. It looks like it will be some time before Mr. Right gains consciousness. So we'll go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty, brother. Yeah! When she get up to the stand? Whatever. Titties. This is all. The court is adjourned. Yeah. Luda wins. Gatch. June 22nd, 3.13 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number Dress. Congratulations, Ma- Uh, congratulations, Maya. S-sis? Aw, huggies. Aw. Nip slips. Alright, ah! Uh, it's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis, sis! I- I- I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis. Wait, hold on. Fuck, not again. <laughs> In my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside the clothing box, right? That... box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. There's still one thing I don't got get. What's that? What have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke him because we heard a gunshot. 
I think Mimi Mimi had planned to open the door of the chamber herself, and then you and Lada would have witnessed quite a scene. Uh, a possessed Maya Fey who had just committed a murder. She had it planned down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congratulations, Maya. Thanks. Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, <laughs> you know. But... I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. I'm fine because I have you to help help me out, Nick. For every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, and now my aunt. Hey, Nick! Tell me! Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Miss Mimi with a plan like that? I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. My, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I, I need an answer. The reason Mort had Mimi with her plan was... Because she wanted to have What's-Her-Face to be over. Over like a mofo. Curly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into the Kurain village. And a person won't be you, Maya. A and... If you weren't there... Then the main family's bloodline would disappear and... And what would happen then? The branch family. My aunt. No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next portion would be pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was all, uh, it was all that pearls would become the next master. Yeah. I can see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying, I thought so. Date and time unknown to Jensen Sutter's solitary confinement cell 13. What the hell is this? My precious Pearl, you are the only one suitable to be master of the Korain village, dear child. I sacrificed it all, all for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder and corroborated with the whippy, uh, whip happy prosecutor. It was all to unsee the annoying, witless main family girl at Maya Fay. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. What you talk about? Episode 2 reunion to, uh, and turnabout. The end. Alrighty then. We're done with that one. We're doing Turnabout Big Top. What? What the fuck? I don't know if it's going to start playing by itself, but you know, this this episode's over, everyone. Uh, just to let everyone know what I thought about this. This one was definitely something a little bit different, obviously more on the dramatic side. Obviously, it was a really good thing to see Von Karma. Or Franziska. I think that's how you say it. Franziska? Or something? Franziska? I don't know. Whatever. And, um, that's pretty damn cool to know that, uh, <laughs> Papa Von Karma had a daughter. And I don't know what the hell he had sex with to be able to have that, but, you know, the daughter's banging. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, definitely nice. Definitely, uh, it's kind of weird, um, whip kind of role that she's thrown into that weird gimmick. But, um, yeah, this one was, uh... I don't want to say it was like one of the best case or the worst case. It's a pretty solid case. Um, definitely, I wish they opened the game up with this, but whatever. Whatever. Tutorials for everyone, right? Because there wasn't a tutorial, a tutorial in this second fucking game. Uh, uh, I mean, the second case, because obviously there wasn't a tutorial in the second case, learning a new game mechanic. Hey, whatever. You should have at least, if they were going to do it, learned a little bit of the case, how to do it, and you learn a new game mechanic altogether instead of spreading it out. But hey, they're game companies. They like holding our hands. And I don't know why you would play the second game before you play the first one, but I can understand, you know, some kids get a hold of games from parents and friends, and, you know, uh, when you're younger, obviously, you don't know that it's, uh, that this is the second game in the series. You just know that it's Phoenix, right? 
pretty much, and a little bit of stuff. Obviously, we got a little insight on Edgeworth. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. Um... Uh, definitely these two cases will hopefully be in the in the future and we're all in the present well the future because that's the past but in the present i don't and i don't know if uh what morgan is talking about gonna is gonna deal with this with this game maybe maybe it's gonna deal with it or maybe the next game because i, I believe there's three games in the series and then it branches off into a whole new series with apollo i believe um but i'm not exactly sure it's just what i'm thinking I believe, I, I think it's this one or the fourth one. Uh, the case is, is, is super long. It's ridiculously long. And um, it, it's, uh, it's a little hard to get through, I believe. I don't know which one, but I've heard it before uh, from one of the people I've watched do uh, playthroughs and stuff. So, yeah, that is about it. I think I'm going to sign off now. Until next time, my name is Luna. As always, stay frosty, baby.